everybody, welcome back. And today we're going to continue on with another C Sharp video. Today we're going to focus on uh, the basic syntax of any project. So we're going to cover um, your using directives, namespace, methods, classes, and uh, curly braces, semicolons, that kind of thing. And uh, yeah, so let's get into it. Don't forget to like the video, subscribe, and click on the bell. The using directive allows our namespace to use other namespaces, classes, and methods without having to qualify them first. For instance, the using system directive allows us to use all the classes and methods of the system namespace, such as console. If I comment out the using directive, we see we get an error. The name console does not exist in the current context. This is because console belongs to the system namespace. We could add system to the beginning of the console and the error will be corrected. If we are only using the namespace once, then this is fine. However, the same namespace might be used multiple times and the using directive helps reduce clutter. We can also use the using directive to dig a little deeper within a namespace and import a single class. Since we're using system.console, we can remove the console down here and it will work fine. Hit play. The using directive allows us to import a namespace. A namespace is a folder that holds all the related files of that namespace. It holds the classes, the methods, variables, and so on. It is used to organize our project. In small projects, one namespace is probably all we'll need. However, as our project grows, we may need to create more namespaces in order to keep our projects organized. The class is a set of directions or a blueprint. We have the class program. It's not very imaginative. In this class, we have a few variables, which I described in our last video, and I'll link that above. These variables hold data about who I am. So let's change the class name to Gazroth. It describes my age, my weight, if I'm tall or not, and what my favorite letter is. This class also has a method called main. A method is a block of code that does something with our data. In this case, we are writing a string to our console. So when we hit play, the console opens and displays the text. Notice the semicolons at the end of my variable declarations. This means that the line of code or this statement has ended. You can also see it at the end of our using statement. However, we do not see one at the end of our namespace, our class or method lines. That is because they are not statements, but the beginning of a block of code. A code block begins with a open curly brace and ends with a closed curly brace. As you can see with our static void main, we open and close. Everything within a block of code that is a statement must end with a semicolon. For example, string my name equals Gosroth is a statement, so we end it with a semicolon. Console.write line is a statement. We end it with a semicolon. Now, if we were to add something like an if statement or a for loop, those are code blocks which would have their own set of curly braces but we'll get to that later in a different video. So to recap, all blocks of code use curly braces and all statements use semicolons. Now that's all I wanted to cover for this video. Uh, thank you for watching. If you liked it, don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe, and click on that notification bell. If there is any feedback, please let me know in the comment section below. And if you have any suggestions for future videos, again, let me know in the comment section below. Thanks for watching.